Good morning. Happy Tuesday and uh, happy Wicked Day. Today's the day that we're gonna go see Wicked. I woke up this morning at 10.30. <laughs> I slept in so, it was so glorious to sleep in until 10.30, I never get to do that. It's a little bit chilly out. I can feel I opened all the windows, the curtains, you know what I mean? And I turned on all of the lighting from the iPad. So it's on its daytime lighting, you know, mode. But it was just so nice to um, wake up and I can feel the chill from outside. So I'm glad I brought some like, you know, wintry like sweaters and stuff. Cause I think it's going to be really chilly today. Actually, let me look and see what the weather's going to be. Ooh. Okay. So it's very windy. It's very windy. And right now it feels like 42 degrees. <laughs> wow. The warmest it's going to get is 53 degrees with well, it feels like a 51. So um, it's going to be very cold. That's so exciting. I am, uh, Sorry, <laughs> I just woke up, so I'm like a little bit like, mm. but I'm gonna have some coffee. I'm going to, my friend that I came with had to do a little bit of work today, so I'm gonna be, I actually have to get some work done today too. I need to edit the last part of the uh, Fort Wilderness, or the first, actually finish editing the first part of the Fort Wilderness video. And I'm sorry, I know those went out kind of like out of order because that was a Halloween trip, but I really hope that the, just I really hope that for future planning purposes, it helps you guys, even though it did go out a little bit later. We had so much fun on that trip and I was thinking about it and I feel like I would definitely do a family trip to New York. I think there's so much stuff to do and see that the kids would have a really good time. It's just, there's just a lot, you know, to look at. And I think the kids would love that. There's so much like kinetic energy, <laughs> like, so I just think the kids would really love it. So I would do want to plan another trip back. And obviously we're not going to be able to do everything that we had on our list because there's so much to do and I'm only here for three days. So I would love to come back. But uh, so far I love this hotel as well. I can hear the noise from the outside, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to be loud. You know, you're in New York. You're supposed to hear the cars honking and the people yelling and um, the sirens going by. It just feels... I don't know. It feels right, <laughs> like in a weird way. So yeah, so good morning. I'm gonna make a little coffee. I'm gonna work on some editing and then we're gonna head out and see what we can do before Wicked tonight at seven. Okay, so I just have to show you, I am <laughs> working on the vlog that I needed to edit. And can I just tell you how Carrie Bradshaw coded I feel right here with my little desk in front of the window, the open window, the window is open and I can't help thinking, was it because the window was open or am I just feeling open to new possibilities here in New York? That was my like best Carrie Bradshaw <laughs> writing her, <laughs> her uh, article, like, you know, impression. I just can't get over it. I think this is so funny. Like, can you see my computer? There it is. It's me, Carrie Bradshaw in New York City. Also, I'm blurry. All right, so I left the room. We're headed out to grab some lunch, but first I wanted to head to the conservatory to have a little, uh, f like a couple of these cookies. They're so delicious and a little coffee to go, but this place is so beautiful. Seems to be a common thread. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even recording. <laughs> What am I doing? So we just walked out of the hotel and as we're walking down the street, that's like the hotel right there. That's the building right up there. Look at this view of the Empire State Building. It was just right here the whole time. How incredible. We're walking over to Chelsea Market and we're on 16th Street. I love this. I love this whole look. So cool. The weather is fantastic. It's like just cool enough, but the sun like hitting your face and the wind pulling you off. Perfect weather. Highly, highly wish we had this in Florida. We were just walking by this building and my friend was saying how cool this looked. It's like an old building with a new building on top. I think everything looks cool. Imagine living here.
So here's our breakfast from Jack's Wife Frida. This is one of the places that was on my list that I was really excited to try. My friend got Maya's breakfast bowl. It looks so good. It has a little spaghetti squash, some radish, tomato. I got the Mediterranean breakfast, which was a little bit lighter because I know we're gonna be eating a lot later on today. But I am a little jealous of your breakfast, not gonna lie. So we just left Jack's Wife Frida, which was amazing. We're passing by the Google building. That's pretty fun. And we're headed over to Chelsea Market. This is where we're headed right over here to Chelsea Market. Look at that, isn't that like such a New York picture? I love this. This is where we're going. We're gonna grab a, maybe some more food? Who knows? So we're headed in to Chelsea Market. Oh yeah. Oh, the biscuit company. Oh, this is what it used to be. Oh, interesting. And these are all the places. Okay, so I have to point this out because I didn't notice it and my friend pointed it out, but Nabisco Biscuit Company, which is the building that we're in, was shortened to Nabisco. Did you know that? Nabisco, bit, uh, that Nabisco stands for National Biscuit Company? I had no idea. How did I not know that? It's so fun. So yeah, this whole building was the old biscuit making factory, like the, the actual factory, how fun. Oh, Oreos, wow. And there's all these fun little shops, like this one here is just called Fresh Flowers. Oh, Damselfly Flowers, wow. So we turn the corner and there's this water feature. I think this is kind of like their equivalent of a fountain. And it just goes into a hole right in the ground. So there you go. Theming. I just am taking this video for Tim because I think he would love this. I guess apparently this place is called Art Tech House and it's just kind of like a um, an art installation type of place. But Tim, I just took this really for Tim. This is for you. It made me think of you. Very cool. So we're walking through the meatpacking district and this, I love stuff like this. I think we should do more of this in Florida, but it's just not nice enough to eat outside, you know? But it just looks so cool. So something that I've been finding a lot during this trip, and I know this is not a Disney vlog, obviously I'm not at Disney, but so much inspiration here you, you see at Disney. So let me show you something. So at Disney Springs, they have these, they have these. Um, they're like in front of the AMC theater. And what it is, is it's a, take on this High Line, which is here in New York. So you walk up these stairs, and we're gonna go up there in a minute, but you actually walk up here. It used to be, what did it used to be? An elevated railway line. Oh, okay, so this was like an elevated railway line. And they have these at Disney Springs, so it's just so neat to see the actual thing in real life. Isn't that fun? So you can find Disney everywhere. So this is the actual High Line here. We're up here. It kind of feels like overgrown, but there are signs, so this must be intentional. Ooh, it's so cold. There's some really cool views up here. So my friend was telling me this over here. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you, but you can sort of see it's a park that they built up on these, they, they sort of look like martini, martini glasses? Yeah, like coops, Coop. champagne coops. Oh, like champagne coops. But that's an actual park over the river, so you would go, whoa, it's so windy, oh no. But oh, okay. there are stairs as well. So okay. We'll just you see the railway? Yeah, that's cool. Oh, so here's the actual railway. See, this is the kind of stuff I think Tim really would have liked on this trip. I think that Tim would have been just videoing this for like 30 minutes at least. Like on this side here, that we came from over there, this is like the switch track. Wow. So I thought this was really neat too, that they are um, not picking flowers specifically for their beauty when they're bloomed. They're also picking flowers for their beauty and their skeletal structures in the winter. So it's uh, finding beauty in all things, not just the pretty things, you know? I think that's really neat. So we're still up here on the skyline and we are passing by this art. It's very interesting. This one is uh, just has some nipples on it and also wood and also whatever this is. This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> an ear is that an ear i think it is so we walked a little bit farther down and you can see these these gardens a little bit clearer so they're elevated and you would go up here and you'd have a really great view of the water it's neat and then we're next to this building and we thought this was kind of cool 
that there's just all these clothes. You think this is like a fashion building? Could be. Everything just is so interesting looking here. So we hopped off the High Line, which is right up there. We were just right up there. We found this place called, I guess it's called the Standard Grill, but it kind of looks like a little, a little pubby, a little cash. So we're gonna pop in and have a drink and maybe like a little light bite before we go see Wicked. So we're here at the Standard, like I was showing you outside. We ordered a couple of beverages. I got, this one is called the Honeymoon. It's basically like a honeydew melon and uh, lemon and soda. And we got a little cheese plate. And this one is the Green Tea Bee's Knees. All right, we're leaving the Standard Grill. We had a couple of drinks, a nice cheese plate. Uh, it was a cool vibe. It was actually really cool. I liked the bathroom. It was a little confusing, but very cool. <laughs> and now we're headed over to see the play. So Wicked starts in like an hour, and um, I was planning on wearing something a little bit fancier, but I guess it's kind of the thing is you're just like heading to the theater from somewhere else. So um, hopefully I'm dressy enough. I'm very excited, I can't wait. Okay, I'm taking another video for Tim, but we're in the Uber on our way to see Wicked, but look, it's the Rivian showroom. There it is. The Rivian store. So we just got out of the Uber and we are headed to the uh, theater, but we're trying to grab a little bite to eat before we go. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. All right, so we headed into the Amish market to see if we could just kind of do like a little grab and go situation before the, before the play. Oh yeah, look at that. So we just left the Amish market. I was gonna get some food before the show because although we just ate, but I just got nervous that I might be hungry in the show because it's like a two hour show. And from what I Googled, the Gershwin only has candy, so no actual food. But it was so overwhelming. There was so much food in there. I couldn't make a choice. So I guess I'll just starve. <laughs> That's okay. I'll be fine. But we're headed over now. We're headed over now. The show starts in like 30 minutes. So here we go. So we're walking over and I found the perfect show for Tim. The gazillion bubble show. Ooh, Oprah loved it. I think Tim's, I think Tim would like it next time we come. There it is, there's the big billboard. Oh, you can't see it, it's all blurry. But that's, it's the blurry thing. It's all lit up green. There it is. That's where we're going. All right, so we're inside, we're in line to grab a little snack. Our seats are this way, we're in the orchestra. And then here's the merch. So right before we head in, they do have some things from Wicked. This is the Wizard's Throne. This is Nessa's chair. Maybe this is something, I'm not totally sure. And then what was this? This was like the stage. Oh, this is the scenic design model. Wow. Okay, we are inside, we're at our seats. Our seats are actually perfect. This is pretty amazing. I, I don't know why, but I thought the Broadway theater, like, I thought it would be a bigger theater, you know? Okay, so we're just leaving now. We just saw the show. I'm gonna tell you all about it when we get back to the hotel. I just wanted you to see the theater. We're now leaving Oz. So we are in Times Square. Wow, it's so bright. There's so many people. It's so exciting. I wish I had the big camera. So Tim told me I could bring the big camera and I was like afraid to because it's so big and I don't really know how to use it. So I'm sorry the quality is not great, but this is wild. Wow. And my friend was telling me that these doors, under here, I don't know if you can see them, you might not be able to tell in this camera, but sometimes people will come out of those doors and like, like famous people, like Lady Gaga might come out and sing. I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight, but it would be really cool if it did. Oh, and then there's that, look. There's a big thing for Wicked right there. What, the Wicked milkshake? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so also something that was really cool. I know I haven't talked to you about the show yet, but I will talk to you about it before I go to bed tonight. But we, so it's playing right next to the theater that's playing Romeo and Juliet with Rachel Zegler and Kit Connor. And um, you, I don't know if you guys know how much we love Rachel Zegler and she's amazing and she's like tweeted at us in the past and it was just really cool and I've talked to her like a few times on social media. She's so super nice. So I just wanted to like pop over into her like signing line because she was out there when we left the show. And so I popped over and I said hi to her and I'll put the footage in here now. My friend got footage of me like saying hi. Oh my god, I love you more! How are you? You're in New York! What's happening? 
She's so sweet. I'm so happy for her. I don't know if she's watching this, but if you are, I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad I got to meet you. Um, it was amazing. So that was really fun. It was like a fun surprise at the end of the night that I just didn't think was gonna happen. It was it was so cool. It really made my trip. So yeah. So now we're in Times Square. Here we are. <laughs> okay, so we're here in, in Times Square passing the Disney store. They're not open or I would totally go in. But I, I made it to the outside, so you got to see the outside. And then people are taking circular photos. There's a lot of people doing these circular photos, which I thought was kind of weird. But there's quite a few people doing this. But I wanted to show you this. There's art everywhere. Look at this silver squiggly chair. It's huge. I don't know if you can tell how big it is. It's so big. There it is, the beam. This is a, a truck with the beam actually on it. It's like a, a fun advertisement. All right, so we were walking around forever trying to find the Nintendo store. We had walked pretty near to it uh, about a hundred times, but now we're here. They're closed, but I did want to show you, this is really more for Jackson. They have a statue of Mario here. They have a statue of Bowser back there. Lots of fun plushies, t-shirts. It looks like there's a new game that they are talking about, that they're advertising Bar Mario and Luigi Brothership. That looks cool. And then it looks like there's a little toad. I don't know if you can even see it, but he's in this, behind these doors, there's a little toad statue. So whenever uh, we all come back as a family, I will definitely be bringing Jackson here. I think he would have a blast. But there it is, Nintendo store. It looks like there's a second floor. I wonder what's up there. We won't be able to find out today, but next time. So we are heading into the Roma Pizza because it's one of the only places that's still open and we're very hungry. We finally got some real New York pizza at the Roma Pizza. It smells really good. I got two margaritas. New York pigeon in New York. What are you doing? You're not at Disney World. <laughs> All right, we're passing by the Macy's. It is closed. I think maybe we'll try to go to Macy's at some point though to do the, uh, the wooden elevator, although we have done it before and I'll link that video down below. But the lights are up, Santa's over there. There he is, you see him? Santa. The window displays are not done yet though. So we're here though, uh, the, the window displays are not done. I wanted to see the window displays. If they're not done, it does say no peeking. The elves are at work, so they should be done soon. I just wish the elves worked a little faster so they'd be done while I'm here. But I think they're probably gonna open those windows as soon as I leave. All right, so I'm back in the room, showered, all ready for bed, did all my face stuff and all that fun stuff. I'm just watching a little Real Housewives of Orange County before I go to bed and um, catching up on my messages and all that fun stuff. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Wicked. It was so good. Um, so if you watch my original video where I talked about this trip and how Tim surprised me with this trip for my birthday, I talked about how I would read the Wicked plot summary on Wikipedia every night and um, I still do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> but now that I've seen the show, it'll be so, it'll make so much more sense. Something that was surprising about the show is that I didn't realize how funny it was. Like, it's a funny show. There were so many moments where everybody was laughing and, it was just, it was so good. And the music was so good. The cast that we got was amazing. I just really, really enjoyed it. And I will absolutely see it again, especially if it comes to Orlando, that would be amazing. But I think Tim would really like it. I'm sad that Tim is not on this trip and he, and he didn't get to see it. It just wouldn't have been possible to both go see the show if the kids were with us. So. I'm just really thankful that he, you know, planned this trip for me and like booked everything and it was all his idea and um, it's just so special. Like it was such a special thing to be able to see Wicked on Broadway. It was really, really just the best birthday gift and I um, really enjoyed the show. 
So I can't wait to see the movie. As soon as I get back from this trip, we're gonna go see the movie like two days after I get back. So I'm very excited to see the movie. It is like a pre-screening, so we can't talk about it for, I think for a few days after, but as soon as we can talk about it, we will talk about it. And um, it's just like, what an amazing show. It was just really, really great. So the only thing that I didn't like about it, and um, I understand why they do this, but I feel like it needed to be longer. And it's funny because the people next to me said that it was long. They they went to go see um, Six, and they said that, that that show was a lot shorter than Wicked was. But um, I just feel like all of the relationships could have been like fleshed out more and could have been, but I just could have used more runtime to like give me more of that, like more of the relationships between everybody, honestly. So I think the movie is gonna do that because the movie I think is twice as long as the show is because it's the first part of Wicked, which goes to like the intermission of the play is the same length as the whole play. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get like more of everybody, but I enjoyed it. It was fantastic. The theater is beautiful. Um, it was just really, really cool. And we had such a fun day today. There was just, we did so much. So we spent 12 hours walking around the city, which is wild. My feet don't even hurt. So in the morning, we're gonna be doing breakfast at the hotel. We're gonna go to dinner at Peak, which is like this kind of fancy restaurant. So that's exciting. It's like really high up in a building. So we'll have really fantastic views. Um, the food is supposed to be really good. We just have a really full day planned for tomorrow. There's gonna be lots of food, lots of sightseeing. I'm sure some other surprises will happen along the way, but I can't wait. So thank you guys so much for sharing this trip with me and for joining me with everything. And I just, I don't know, I'm having such a great time. So thank you guys for coming along and I will see you in the morning. All right, so we just grabbed a little breakfast this morning at the hotel. I got a twice baked pistachio croissant a little latte, which is the coffee here is so good. A fruit plate, and then we have just a regular, you know, two eggs kind of breakfast coming, but so nice. Here's a look around the restaurant. It's so beautiful. We had dinner here the other night, but it was so dark. It was kind of hard to see what was going on, but I just like love the whole vibe. All right, so our breakfast came. This was included with uh, our stay because I joined the Leaders Club, so I recommend checking that out. But look at this little fancy hash brown. Everything looks so delicious. The fruit, the pastry was so good. It had like a pistachio butter inside. It was a little sweet. There you go, I'm so excited. After breakfast, we walked over to, um, we walked over kind of near Times Square. So I'm actually gonna meet up with, um, somebody contacted me and they're in the Moulin Rouge show and he was saying how he'd love to say hello. So we're gonna go say hello to him. And we're going to a cookie place that apparently all of the people in the shows go to. It's called Schmackery. We're gonna go head, head over there and have a cookie with him. He also recommended the Burden Branch, which is like right across the street here. That's like a coffee and tea place that all the actors go to. So those are like, some fun if you're in town and you want to see maybe some people in the shows they might be there getting a cookie or a tea or something but we're gonna go head in and say hi to him before his show he has a matinee at two for the moulin rouge so yeah that's what we're doing right now we're just this area feels a little more not like suburban but less like where we just came from times square less less busy and loud it's, it's very cool we're a few minutes early so we're gonna head into the burden branch and have a, a tea or a coffee and then We'll head right across the street to the cookie place over to Schmackery's. Lip schmacking good cookies. All right, so I just grabbed a, a green tea, but it was a cooked green tea. It was a hojicha, hojicha. So I'm excited to try that. It's a little too warm. I'm gonna let it cool off, but we just passed a playground. And I thought this was like, I've obviously missed the kids. I miss that they're not here and I wish they were here, but we were, I was looking around everywhere that we go to see like, could I bring them? Would they have stuff to do? And I think they would. So like, how fun, this is a really nice playground. So we just walked over, we're waiting for to meet with Patrick and he's gonna be there soon. So we're walking back, but I wanted to show you, this is really more for Tim, but there's so many cool looking burger places. When we come back, we'll have to go to this five napkin burger. That looks fun. And then this one too, looks really cool. It's called Lovely Old Fashioned Hamburgers. I wanna go there. Okay, so this is the, um, 
the Hirschfeld Theater where the Moulin Rouge is playing. We're gonna go meet up with Patrick, who is in the show. He is a stand-in in the show. He's not working today, so he does have some time to meet up. And we're gonna go have a cookie at Schmackery's, but there is the building. It looks, it's just so neat. This is just like the most like New York day that I've had um, so far. It's very cool. I'm very feel very thankful to be able to do these things. I'm very thankful to be able to meet people who are so super talented and doing these things. It's awesome. So we're inside of Schmackery's now, and I had a delicious cranberry dream cookie. It smells amazing in here. I had the cranberry dream. They have a pumpkin spice. This is apparently where all of the uh, Broadway actors come, and an actor actually started this location. So it's just been a big, big place for all the Broadway. Uh, cast. I got my care for my schmack attack, and it was a cranberry dream cookie. All right, so um, here I'm here with Patrick. Hi. Thank you so much for meeting me, of for course. taking time out of your busy schedule. This was so exciting. Um, he was actually giving me some insight into like schmackeries and like a little behind the scenes of how it's connected to a show that Tim really loves. Yeah, so if you've ever watched Only Murders in the Building, the third season is all centered around a Broadway show. And Schmackery's is kind of like the Broadway cookie shop. Like, it's, it's kind of garnered that reputation. So it plays a major role. If you've seen the third season, you know exactly what a cookie does to a certain character. Um, and it's it, they mention it by name in the show, Schmackery's. And if you look here, they have it like on the, on the little board here. I didn't even like put, we, we just saw it, I didn't put it together. Tim really wants me to watch this show and I told him, I'm like, I just don't have time for another show. You gotta do it. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do it. You I'm gotta do, do it. it. But Tim, this is really just for you, so. <laughs> But thank you so much for like meeting up of and course. um if you're here and you see Moulin Rouge, um you might see Patrick. Oh. Uh oh. They were excited to see you. <laughs> They're like, that's My him. Fans. That's I, him. I, I, I get stalked everywhere. <laughs> My god. Sorry. I'm a part of it. No. But but please come and see Moulin Rouge. Come see Patrick. Support him. Support the arts. Come and see all the shows. So we just walked back through and we're passing by Wicked again by the Gershwin Theater. There it is. This is a much better look at the sign. Last night was really blown out. The digital signs are like hard to capture on uh, camera. But there it is. So we walked over. We walked over to, we're headed to the park now, to Central Park. But here we are. I uh, just wanted to give you a little look at the Christopher Columbus statue. The skyline. They're like filming something right here. I don't know what exactly they're filming for, but... This is just so neat. So we're gonna head into the park. I'm kind of halfway hoping that we get to see um, Law & Order SVU taping while we're in there, because they're always in the park. There's always a murder in the park on a Law & Order SVU. I don't know about real life, but maybe. So hopefully we'll see Mershka Hargitay or Carisi. He's my favorite, I love Carisi. So let's head in to the park. All right, so we're kind of on the outskirts of the park, or is that still the park? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Surprisingly, I can see. We're in the middle of the park, okay, cool. But the views are just so, it's just so neat to see the trees and the buildings. And like the trees are changing color. You would never see this in Florida. It's beautiful. We've just been walking and chatting and it's so peaceful too. The weather is, I couldn't have asked for better weather on this trip. It's beautiful. It's not super cold. It's not obviously super hot. There's no rain. This has been so nice. The sky is so blue. Look at the sky back here. Can you see it? It's so blue, beautiful. I can't wait to come back. Three days is not enough. So we're just passing by the ice skating rink and they have all these wicked flags up, look at that. So when we passed by the first time, they were like American flags and now they're all the pink and green wicked flags. Because we're headed over back to the Chelsea market and I think we're gonna try to get a cab over. So we're just, we kind of keep staying in this general area. We keep ending up right in the same exact area, which is pretty funny. So we just got out of the cab. Um, I just showed you a little quick trip of us driving. So it was fun to take a New York cab, like a yellow cab, a real one. But we're here at the Strand Bookstore. This was where we were headed to and it's 18 miles of books. So let's head inside. With the books? Yeah. All right, so we are inside Christmas tree books. Let's head back and see what we can see. So we're inside, I grabbed a couple of shirts. I'm getting this for a Christmas present for somebody. It's just some new books. I love all the like rainbow book wall. It's so cool in here. I just, um, we were leaving actually. I just got a couple of things. I'll show you when I get back, but they have these books that are wrapped that you can, um, you know, you don't know what they are, but you kind of know what they are. 
And so I'm thinking maybe I'll get one to read because I'm, I'm out of books to read. I read them all. So we're all done at the Strand and we walked over to Union Square. We're in the market and there's just all these fun little tents of vendors and um, oh, look at this one with the flowers. Oh, a kimchi cart. I love it. But this is exactly the kind of vacation I wanted. There was a lot of things we didn't do on this trip. I leave tomorrow morning, so this is kind of like the end of the trip. We have a really nice dinner tonight. But I think that uh, this is what I want to do. I want to like just walk around, see the sights. And I did miss a lot of the big touristy things, but I did everything I wanted to do, you know? So I have to come back and do the things I missed. But I had a really great trip. We're walking and these people have just like comically large bags of for super goop that's like a shopping bag. Look how big it is. Oh yeah, somebody's wanted me to go there. Okay, I, I didn't go inside, but the Harry Potter store is right here. See it? I'm not gonna go in because we have reservations for dinner that we have to catch, but there it is. And here's the big bag man. The bag was so big. They're, they're filming like a promo for Super Goop, so that's why I showed them, but. Okay, so we're back at the hotel. I did get the jacket that everybody liked. I ended up not buying it that day and then ordering it later because I had buyers, I had unbuyers remorse that I didn't buy it. So this is what I'm wearing to our special fancy dinner. Um, I wish you could see my full outfit. Let me see if there's, I can show you in the mirror because I really love this outfit. It's kind of like a little menswear-ish, which I love. I love a girl in menswear. I think it looks so chic. Um, I don't know a lot about fashion, but like that's what I like. <laughs> so, so yeah. So that's what I've got going on. We're gonna head out to the dinner right now. It's called, it's at Peak, and it's called The Edge. So it's like a very tall building. Um, the menu looks really great. So we're gonna head over right now. I think we're gonna walk. So let's do it. So this is the building that we're gonna have dinner in right here, the one with the little sticky out part. It's called, is the building called Peak? building I think is called Juan Vanderbilt. Oh, this is Juan Vanderbilt. Oh, maybe it's called 30 Hudson Yard. Hold on, I'll get back to you on that. But speaking of Juan Vanderbilt, I talked to a friend before my trip and she said that was one of the places that I should definitely go because it's very um, picturesque and it's very like Instagram-y. And I didn't go this time, but one more thing to add to my list when I come back. So it's 30 Hudson Yards, the oh, building. It's, the, it's 30 Hudson Yards, so it's not the one Vanderbilt the building. Sticky. So this is the 30 Hudson Yards building. The sticky outfit is called The Edge, and then we're going to the restaurant, which is called Peak. I'm very excited for dinner. It's gonna be like a, a fancy-ish dinner, which is fun because the friend that I came with, it's actually their birthday today. So this will be like a nice celebration. Very excited. And it, the seafood had, or the, the menu had some really good looking seafood options, which you know I love. So uh, we're gonna head over there now. We walked, it took about 20 minutes. I love how walkable everything is here. It's, you could never do that in Orlando. So it feels great. If you look straight ahead, you can see this very large pigeon statue. New York pigeon, why are you so big? There it is. That's fun. There's so many doors and I'm like, is it this way? So that's like been the most fun about this trip is not knowing where we are. Um, we're not <laughs> sure if we're in the right place to get to the restaurant. But it's an event, that's, yeah, there it is, the edge. Yeah. So that's part of the adventure, you know? Being lost. That's the, that's the fun of it. All right, so we are here at the restaurant. It's on the 101st floor. It took 52 seconds to get here in the elevator. We're pretty high up, but the views are beautiful. Look at this. So I just wanted to give you a look at the menu. We're doing the prefix menu because we're sat by the window. So you can pick one of each of these. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I was looking at the tuna and the halibut or the filet and the desserts. What's the egg? Pineapple, mango, kiwi. Oh, so it just probably looks like an egg. And then they have all these fun drinks. Here's a look at the view from the table. We got really lucky because we're here at, um, at sunset. There's like a little bit of glare on the window, but this is a look at the view from where we're sitting. I'm, I'm, this is directly behind me. Oh, and then there's people. There, I don't know if you can see these people down here. So this is a little amuse-bouche, a little gift from the chef. I forget what he said what it was, but there's some caviar on top. All right, so I ordered the scallop appetizer. I actually originally ordered the tuna, but I saw somebody else had the scallops and they look so good, I changed my order. And then my friend got the beet salad. 
Everything looks so beautiful. This one has a blood orange sauce and a sunchoke puree. It worked. She did do that. And now they live here. In New York? No, sorry, Florida. So they gave us a little palate cleanser before the dessert. By the way, the uh, filet was amazing. It was so delicious. But this is a, a pear sorbet with an apple cider foam. For the dessert, we actually got the cheese plate. So we each got some Stilton, Camembert, and Manchego with some fig and honeycomb, sesame seed crackers, and a little bread. So we just had dinner and now we're down one floor. Remember when I was showing you those little people walking around? That's where we are now. It's called The Edge. And we're just kind of dangling over the edge of this building. And apparently you can actually walk or like rappel down this building. I wouldn't do that, but you could if you wanted to. You could pay money to rappel down this building. So look at that. We're up pretty high. We're up 105 floors. No, 101 floors. 100 too many floors for me. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my. Okay, so I just want to give you one last look at the, uh, the view from here. So I guess this right here is Madison Square Garden. That's pretty neat. This is an iconic building, the New Yorker. The train station is right over here. And I think it's also neat to see the cars driving from way up here. Isn't that fun? Look how small everybody is. This is a beautiful view. I definitely recommend coming here and having dinner. The food was fantastic. The view was great. The food was great. Um, it was pricey, but I feel like it was worth it. The service was fantastic. Uh, it, was, it was, if you can sit by a window and come around 5 p.m., you're gonna love it. It is a really cool view. It really is, like... Pretty beautiful. You're talking to me on the camera. Just like in general, I'm talking oh. to the world. <laughs> I'm talking to whoever like, will listen. Is it, is it super <laughs> no, it's just like, so it is really beautiful. Yeah, it is What's this? Cool. What's this water? Uh, I don't know, remember, I, the Hudson and the East River. I feel like that's north. That uh. be, yeah, I think that's the Hudson. So we just left the building. This is where we were eating, was inside of this like really fancy mall, the, the shops here. And we walked out and immediately see the vessel, which just recently reopened. And here it is. And I'm curious, anybody who's been to this, how, how long does it take you to get to the top? Because it seems like a, a lot of walking. But I bet you get some pretty views up there. So we're walking back to the hotel and we realize we're passing by the Macy's. So we thought, what if we go in if it's open and check out the wooden escalator? Oh yeah, this is wood. Oh, I don't know if the treads are wood. Like but this is, okay. We found it. It's behind the big elevator bank. Wow. Oh, they're fast. I feel like this one goes a little quicker than like a normal escalator. We're going down pretty quick. There it is. See? Wow. We did it. <laughs> it feels like it's gonna move at any second. I know this is blurry, but the escalator is not on the one that we're walking on. And so it's a uh, wooden escalator, temporarily stairs. Sorry for your convenience. Oh, look at this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. You can see the inner workings of it. Wow. Huh. So we found this really cute like rooftop bar. It's called 230 on 5th. It reminds me of a place in Orlando. I forget the name of it, but it was very similar to this. Not as cold and not as cool views. All right, so we just left the rooftop bar. We're headed back to the hotel for our last sleep. And then we're gonna wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, and then we're gonna go to the airport. This was a fun trip. It was a quick trip, but a very fun trip. That's the hotel right there. Let's go back. Hi. Thank you. Hi. It is a little bit later. I am back in the room. I packed up. Tomorrow's my last day. I'm leaving in the morning. So I did pack up. There's my luggage. Had a little coconut water. Had a little sweet treat that was in my room. But yeah, it was great. Today was a great day. We did so much. I was very excited to be able to go to the Strand Bookstore. I know I didn't show you a lot of that. It was kind of a quick trip, but it was really cool to see. I got a book that was like a mystery, one of the wrapped up books that I wanna 
um, when I get home, I'll look and see which one it is. And I got some Christmas presents for some people that I saw that, I just saw some stuff that made me think of them. So I got them a little present from the Strand and then dinner was amazing. The view was like crazy. It was such a good view. The view from the edge, like looking out over the city was so beautiful. And this trip has just been so nice. It's been really just, maybe not the trip that a lot of people would do in New York, but I had so much fun just walking around and seeing the sights and hearing the sounds and, you know, experiencing New York in the way that I wanted to experience it. I saw everything that I wanted to see. Not everything on my list. I didn't do everything on my list. I wanted to get an aura reading at the Chelsea market and we totally forgot to do it the first day that we went there. So I'd love to do that another time. We did have a boat ride around the Statue of Liberty that we didn't end up having enough time to do because we went to meet Patrick over in the uh, like Broadway area, which honestly was like a highlight of the trip. That was so cool just to be able to meet him and talk to him about his show and his story and what brought him here. And he was telling me how he worked at Disney. So like that was really cool just to see how, I don't know, just to, to hear the story, to hear how he got here was really neat. And um, so I would love to come back and see him perform in the Moulin Rouge. That would be amazing. It was such a fun day. I had so much fun. We came back, we went to that rooftop bar, and then we came to the bar in the hotel, which was, I don't think I showed you any of that, but it was, it's such kind of a small bar. I didn't want to pull out my camera, but it was such a cool vibe. And I don't know, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. There's so many, it's called the portrait bar. So there's so many pictures all around the bar. It was neat to see the scenery. It was just very cool. So... I can't wait to come back one day. I'd love to come back with the kids and do like a family trip. I'd love to see how different it is, you know, as like a more of a, a family trip. There, I'm sure there's a lot to do for families, so I'd love to do that. And I think Tim would absolutely love the city. So I can't wait to come back. I had so much fun and um, I'm going to go to sleep now so I can get up and finish my packing. So I'll just, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, good night. Good morning. It is my departure day from New York. It's eight o'clock right now. I have all, I'm all packed up. I'm ready to go. I'm not really ready to go. I'd love to stay longer, but I just need to plan another trip. So I just wanted to give you a quick look around the room one more time. I love this hotel. Um, everything was beautiful. The bed was fantastic. The food was amazing here. The service, they were just, everybody was so nice and helpful. Um, the bed was so comfortable. Oh my gosh, so plush. The pillows were amazing. I felt like I was sleeping in a marshmallow every night. <laughs> it was very nice. Here's my little Carrie Bradshaw desk that I used one time. The bed. Just all of the cool decorations and details. This little bar area. I only really drank one Coke and one coconut water, but... I loved it. I made coffee one morning. That was very nice. I didn't even eat a single snack. And these are included. Maybe I'll take a snack with me. Yeah. Everything nuts? Sure. I kind of want to take this chocolate. Maybe I will. Alright. Oh, and then the chocolates that they put on our bed every night. I never ate a single one. <laughs> Maybe I'll take these too. Um, little snacks that they left for me. But yeah, I'm, I've got to get going downstairs for breakfast so that we can head to the airport. Uh, have you planned, have you figured that out yet? Have you done anything about it? Thank you. Thanks. So we are getting in the car to head to the airport. Bye Fifth Avenue Hotel. I think it is the bag. Alright, we made it. Very little time to spare, but we made it. So we're getting on our original flight, which is great. I was a little nervous. But we're here. We're going back to Orlando, back to the heat. I'm gonna like soak in the last of the chilliness before we go back to the humidity. It feels so nice. Tim did say it was very hot back home. 
So that'll be a shock, I think. Touching the plane. <laughs> We're gonna go get our bags and head out to the heat. I can like, I can feel it. It's so warm. Welcome to the city view. Here, imagination becomes reality of the theme parks and attractions. Please hold on to the handrails. So something fun is when we left, the tree wasn't up. But when we got back, the tree was up. There it is. It's Christmas is starting now at the airport. He's here. Hello! Oh, I missed you. I yes, missed you hi buddy! Alright, so I'm back. It is a few days after my trip and I had so much fun. I had such a great time. I am really thankful that I was able to go on this trip. I had the best time on this trip. It was um, relaxing, but also we did so much. So I didn't do everything that was on my list. I do think, like I said, I think three days is not long enough to have a first time trip to New York to do all the things that you like want to do but that just means that I'll have to plan a trip back I want to go to the museums I'd love to spend more time in Central Park I'd love to get my aura read there was a place in Chelsea Market that did like an aura reading and I never actually made it we were right next to it and we didn't realize that that was the place so I'd love to go back and actually do that because that just looked like a cool experience I'd love to, I really wanted to see the Louis Vuitton store because they have this like, it looks like luggage, it just looks cool. I didn't necessarily want to go inside, I just wanted to see the outside. I'd love to go and see all of the Christmas stuff since it was not up while I was there. I got to see the tree wrapped up, that was cool. I'd love to see the actual like Macy's windows and stuff, but the elves were still working on them when I was there. <laughs> so I for sure wanted, like, would like to go back and I think that bringing the kids I think would be a lot of fun. It would be a different trip obviously as far as like we wouldn't do a lot of nighttime stuff but I think we could pack a lot in during the day so um so yeah so I had so much fun the only way that we can do fun stuff like this too is because you are watching this video right now so I really appreciate you watching and following along and joining me on my birthday trip and um, it just means a lot. And it really does make a difference in our lives, um, probably more than you really know. So I just, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope to go back with the whole family and I hope you'll tune in for that too. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to show you was I did buy one of those mystery books from the Strand, from the bookstore. And I wish I had showed you more of the bookstore. It was very cool, but I just kind of like spent time looking around and you know, all that fun stuff. So let me insert the clip where I opened up my mystery book and you can see what I got. What was my mystery book? We're back, I'm back at home and I wanted to show you all the things I bought in New York. I bought you this shirt. Oh, that's cool. From the bookstore. This is 18 miles of books. Cause we love, They. I did ask them when we were there. I'm like, I'm like, have you guys ever actually done like, like how do you know it's true? And she's like, no, we've never actually done it. You know, it's just kind of like a saying. <laughs> I was like, okay. 18 miles is pretty specific. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little bit big, but they it's didn't. Not too big. The next one was going to be too small. Yes, yes. And then I got a, a myself mommy. and you this shirt. Hey, mommy. Hi, buddy. Hey, mommy. Oh, that's cool. So it's really soft. <laughs> and then this one is the mystery book. Should I open it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it says it had a little 
the scripture on the front that was just kind of like, this is what it's about, but I don't want to give you the title. You're picking it based on the, like the vibe. What if it's ready or not? It says, please join us for the wedding of your nightmares. It doesn't feel like a book. I don't know. What if it's a DVD? What if it is ready or not? <laughs> like you just bought the DVD of ready or not. Let's see. I mean, I do love that movie. Oh, it's the, that's so funny. <laughs> it's the guest list. Oh. <laughs> so this is one of the books that I actually wanted to read anyway. That's really funny. In the, in the vlog where I went to the bookstore, I'm like, this is on my list. So. Oh, you did it. Look at that. It worked oh, out. Wow. Oh, that's just one. How's pages in it? Well, Did you is... think it was going to be a picture book? <laughs> so it's Lucy Foley's The Guest List, and it is on Reese's Book Club. I think it's Reese Witherspoon's Book Club. It says you'd kill to be on it. Oh. So there you go. Exciting stuff. Cool. And then I bought a... Cool. I bought one for my, my Lash Girl because she always tells me about animes that she's watching, and she... Only picks animes that have really good love stories. Oh. So I bought her this as like a little Christmas present. True tales of love in a hundred words or less. Yeah, they're like little short stories. So I thought she might like it. So there you go. I got The Guest House, which is a book that was on my list. So I can't wait to read it. And um, I just think it, it was more special that it was, you know, that I got it this way. That it was kind of like a mystery and just everything kind of works out, which I think is, is really cool. So yeah, so I think I'm going to end it here, but I had so much fun. Thank you again for watching and I will see you tomorrow with a new video. That's not how we end our videos. <laughs> and with that being said, we're off and we'll see you tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.